an entrepreneur who has started a huge business whatever it is management is needed management does so many things and it has so huge characteristics the first characteristic is when i say art and science it is not completely 100% science it is called pseudo science management cannot be seen but it can be felt management cannot be touched but it can be Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I am Abhilash Chandra from the department of commerce and management welcome to the first session and the first chapter the chapter is all about introduction to management students you need to know what exactly management is all about and i have given you a beautiful concept here that is the tabulation where i have shown you what are the very important topic and how many marks you can expect in your examination the university of mysore always goes with a standard and vidyashram is the only college which knows that what exactly the standards of umo is now uom is all about university of mysore now here we have for the first chapter introduction to management now these are the topics and these are the marks definition please understand this the uom will never ask you define anything but they're going to ask you for a 15 marks 10 marks and the 5 marks saying that you are supposed to write something about the topic now the question for 15 marks or 10 marks should be like explain the features of management explain the nature of management or explain the functions of management so for that what is that you should do is for every question whenever they ask you are supposed to first define what exactly the term is all about so definition is very much compulsory for all the questions nextly we have in this chapter though it is called introduction to management you are supposed to know something more about the pioneers of management that is f w taylor so what exactly this f w taylor says what is his contribution you are supposed to write more f w taylor stands for frederick winslow taylor so you already know about him in your puc but there are few students who are from science to commerce let me tell you f w taylor is the father of scientific management he is the father of scientific management and what did he do for the thing about the management does he has given the scientific principles and even now after so many years of his death we still remember f w taylor and we practice what he has told in his days next thing we have as management functions that is functions of management functions of management is very very important because it's the chapter itself says it is a introduction to management where you will understand that what are the functions of management and what management does and why management does all these things the next one we have is nature and the process of management so here you will understand about the scope of management where exactly the management is used and why it is used the lastly we have henry fayol now henry fayol is the father of general management he is the father of general management so f w taylor is the father of scientific management and uh, henry fayol is the father of general management so these are the things which you people are supposed to no and i have given you the mark saying that these are the marks please uh, take a screenshot and you are supposed to record this in your notebook and i'll tell you what it is students always try to be smart and you are supposed to learn everything smartly because smart way is the new trend in the 21st century now let's go for the first topic that is the meaning of management so here meaning of management you are supposed to always go with the definition and then you are supposed to write what exactly management is all about so let me tell you in a nutshell what management is all about management is an art of getting things done through others efficiently and effectively when i say this management is an art what exactly it means that what is your personal skills and what all you can do with your personal skills so that you can get work done by somebody else 
that is called management and how will you get the work done it is not just like chumma they are supposed to go for the management or doing the work you are supposed to get it effectively and efficiently only then it will be productive now here i have given you a definition that is management is a process of administration and controlling that is administrating and controlling the affair of the organization irrespective of its nature type structure and size whatever it is whether it is a small company or a big company a small business enterprise or an entrepreneur who has started a huge business whatever it is management is needed so here what management is all about so in your house also there is a management because i'll tell you what exactly this management is all about when you are telling your younger siblings or your elder siblings are ordering you something they are also doing what management getting the work done from you right the next one is it is an act of creating and maintaining such business environment wherein the members of the organization can work together and achieve business objectives efficiently and effectively see these are the terms which you are supposed to remember because these are the key points which you will definitely need to write so that you will get more marks and these are the words which will fetch you more marks so this is what management is i'll repeat management is an art it's what it's an art of getting things done through others efficiently and effectively so this is what management is nextly we have character six of management what is it character six of management you'll be surprised that management does so many things and it has so huge character six the first character six is management is universal phenomenon let me just brief you what exactly this universal phenomenon is all about when you understand management so with two people you can actually go with a management right we can manage ourselves but we never say that that's management but we only go with when more people are there when we maintain them when we manage them we call that as management so here management wherever people are there right there will be management what exactly it is nomadic life also had something called management there were people the leaders who used to manage the entire crowd management was there management is a military concept when i say military concept it is all about intangible management cannot be seen but it can be felt management cannot be touched but it can be felt that is what management is all about right now i'll give you an example where your own 10th standard or say when you are in second pu you know that there was a management when the school life was and when the college life was again go with a strict faculty who is to teach you how well behaved you were supposed to sit in his classes or in her classes a free faculty or a faculty whom you felt that uh, he won't do anything or she won't do anything how well you will set yourself so that is what the management does you can only feel it right when a strict faculty comes to your classroom when a faculty easy going he could come to your classroom what exactly the management is all about right so these are the things in your house if you go more with it your when your father will tell you something will you do it or not whether you, your mom will tell you something whether you will do it or not so these are the things right it can only be felt you cannot see it right next one is management is distinct process when i say distinct process it should happen and it will happen without management you cannot do anything students so this is what it is that's why you are supposed to manage yourself you are supposed to manage the entire crowd so i'm talking more about the corporate culture here now when i say distinct process it's a compulsory process or else what happens is you can go with any example say from apple microsoft or any kind of a thing management should be there unity of command should be there unity of direction should be there right that is what the distinct process is next is management as a social process we all are societal right we all are in the societal and now what exactly happens is human is a social being so where human are there 
management is present that is called social process management is what management does yes when you understand this management is what management does you are supposed to know that we have three type of management so we have top level top level middle level and we have supervisory level and this levels of management depends on the nature and size of a business it can extend to more than three to four to five to seven levels of management it depends on the nature and size of a business what the top level management says the middle level management should do it they should do it what the middle level says the supervisory need to do it that is what it is management is what management does so this is what you are supposed to remember next we have management is a group activity please understand management is a social process that means people are involved that means it is also what it's a group activity and when the group is there what usually happens is human is a heterogeneous person the way i think is totally different from the way you think the way you pursue things will be totally different from the way i pursue things so what exactly it means it is what heterogeneous but when it comes to management what usually happens is the management's effort should be what to make the heterogeneous crowd into homogeneous when they make it homogeneous it is exactly what the group activity is group activity in the sense everybody should work for the benefit of the organization as well as benefit of their individual the last one is getting things done through others see this is the beauty of management you will not work but you will get whatever you want people to do it for you that is what the management is all about so it is what getting things done through others and let me tell you in a nutshell itself i'll tell you here students the real fact about the corporate is all about managing human being so we call that as h r m what is it it's called as h r m human resource management so here also management is what getting things done through others and that to efficiently and effectively so these are the characteristics of management please remember the first one is the universal phenomenon second is it is a distinct process thirdly we have social process the fourth we have management is what management does the next one has group activity and the last one is getting things done through others now I have few more characteristics of management there are n number of characteristics of management for your syllabus let's restrict ourselves with these points the next one is management is always goal oriented why it is called goal oriented when you are getting things done efficiently and effectively what will happen you will achieve what you really want to do why is that you are doing all this management thing why is that you are maintaining everybody the reason is we are maintaining everybody we are managing everything only to reach the goal which is actually set by the top level management so management is all about goal oriented the next one here we have is dynamic let me tell you the word dynamic itself is what change so whenever there is a change management is the only thing which is very very flexible and it change according to the situation and whatever it requires it will actually do that so that the management is smoothly functioned and then everybody will get adjusted to the situation which they really want to achieve so this is called as management is dynamic the next one here is decision making sir what exactly decision making is all about why management the characteristics itself is a decision making you need to understand to do any kind of a thing we need to actually decide so what exactly the decision is all about whenever you have options right you are supposed to choose any one in those options we always call that as decision a person named henry fiol that is the father of general management he once defined decision has alternate course of action in that you are supposed to pick the best course of action and that exactly is called decision making and exactly here also the same management has a characteristic of deciding what is the best course of action that's why we characterize management as a decision making process the next one here is good leadership when you decide properly and when you 
go for a decision making you wanted or you don't want it you will become a good leader when you become a good leader what usually happens i'll tell you here a good leader can actually manage the entire crowd he can pull up everybody and he can actually take them to the excellence the reason is only because of proper management he or she can be a good leader and we give them a title called leadership and the next one is as i told you it's a military concept and it is all intangible you cannot see you cannot touch but you can feel its presence that is what management is and lastly we have management is science as well as an art when i say art and science it is not completely 100% science it is called pseudo science what exactly it is it's called pseudo science and when i say art it's all about see you have not learned you have not got the specialization with management but still i'll tell you i'll give you a situation and you can manage at least 5 to 6 people when you are doing it how did you do it it's all because of the art that is the personal skills whichever you know so here try to understand students day to day activity when we go for it directly or indirectly we have used the word management and we are managing it best example is your mother when your maid servant will not come to the house your mom will actually manage the entire house how she will start assigning duties to you and your siblings sometimes she also assign duty to your father the reason is what she is doing what exactly it is she is managing the house for a day without the uh maid servant present so what exactly it is it's a dynamic nature that means change according to situation now when your maid servant has come now again the management will be different now she will not give you any of the work now she will tell the maid servant to work more the reason is what it's all about management it can only be felt the last one here is science as well as an art i told you about the art part science part i'll tell you in the next session we'll understand more about management if you have any doubts regarding this session you are supposed to college we are always there to help you with ashram is the only college which does everything to the students for free thank you so much i'll see you when i see you